the graphical representation of statistical data has a more effective and more lasting effect on the mind of a person as compared to a written statement. There are several ways of representing the statistical data graphically. In this section, we will study bar graphs. A bar graph is a pictorial representation of the numerical data by a number of bars of uniform width erected horizontally or vertically with equal spacing between them. Each rectangle or bar represents only one value of the numerical data and so there are as many bars as the number of value in the numerical data. The height of a bar indicates on a suitable scale the corresponding value of the numerical data. In order to draw a bar graph, we draw two mutually perpendicular lines in the plane paper. The horizontal line is called x-axis and the vertical line is known as the y-axis. If the bars are drawn vertically on horizontal line, x-axis, then the scale of heights of the bars or rectangles is shown along y-axis. If the bars drawn horizontally on the vertical line, y-axis, then the scale of height of the bars or rectangles is shown along x-axis. While constructing bar graphs, the following points should be kept in mind. The width of the bars should be uniform throughout. The gap between one bar and another should be uniform throughout. Bars may be either horizontal or vertical. The vertical bars should be preferred because they give a better look. Let's observe the following example. The following table gives the number of students in class 6 in a school during academic years 1996 to 1997 to 2000 to 2001. Represent the above data by a bar graph. To represent the above data by a bar graph, we first draw a horizontal and a vertical line. Since five values of the numerical data are given, so we mark five points on the horizontal line at equal distances and erect rectangles of the same width at these points. The heights of the rectangles are proportional to the numerical values of the data.